In your class, you can drag student video to the front blackboard. This will engage your students and motivate them. According to the teaching activities, you can adjust the student video box to be of any size to bring the class much more fun. When you double-click the video of the students or of yourself, you will see the public speaking mode. This will bring all the students' attention to the speaker himself. When you double-click a second video box of the student, you will see a talk mode between the two. This function will be suitable for a conversation, a match, and so on. When you double-click many videos, all the videos will be laid out equally on the blackboard. The teacher and the students will see the body language and face expressions of each other clearly. When you move your mouse about the student video, there will be a toolbar below the student picture. They are Authorize, Mute, Reward, and Drop Down through which you can manage your student status. Click the Authorize button. You can authorize your students to be able to utilize the tools on the right side. Both teacher and students are able to utilize the tools in the right toolbar to interact with each other. By click the Authorize button again, you can withdraw the authority to keep the class in order. If there is loud noise from any of the students' side, which will affect other students, you can click the mute button to mute the student temporarily. By clicking the mute button again, you can withdraw the mute function. A certain number of the words can be applied to engage and activate your student. In the class in live classroom, you can issue trophies to your students for encouragement. Teacher can make video zones available for other students by dropping down the current ones. This will allow those students off the stage to go up front to the video zones. When the number of the students is less than or equal to 6, teacher can regard the offstage as not showing their face but still in the classroom. If there is any student disturbing the class intentionally, you can move the student to the block area. Students who are off the stage are not able to interact with the teacher via video and audio, but those students are still able to listen to the class. When you move your mouse about your own video picture, there will be a short toolbar, which includes Webcam Reset, Mute All, and Drop Down All to make it possible for batch management. You can reset all the videos in the front blackboard back to the seats at the same time. It not only saves teacher a lot of time, but also make the class more efficient. Mute All can help the teacher to mute all the students in the classroom Click again, you can withdraw Mute All. Drop Down All can help the teacher to dismiss all the unstate students off the stage. When there are too many students in the classroom, through Drop Down All, you can exchange the batch on the stage. Click the Select and Move button. You can drag and move every section around the blackboard, and you can adjust the size of it according to your needs. The teacher and students are able to utilize the marker to help teaching in the class. There are multiple sizes and multiple colors. Not only we can draw on the screen, but also take notes and highlight the key points. For better and more fluent writing, you can try to connect a pen tablet. The teacher and students are able to utilize the text box to facilitate your teaching. You can adjust the texts to multiple sizes and multiple colors.
It looks quite simple, but screenshot is a fun and useful function. In the class in application, you can catch the screen within the classroom and also outside the classroom. Regarding the unuseful pictures or texts, you can delete them. If you want to clear the blackboard, you can utilize the shortcut keys Ctrl plus A and then click Delete button. Presentation and illustration are very important parts while teaching. The laser pointer is not only able to help teachers highlight the key points, but also bring your attention to the point. Multiple files of different formats are supported in Class In. Those common mainstream formats are able to be shown in the classroom. You can upload your teaching materials to the cloud before the class and utilize the material at the time you want. There needs some time for files loading and transformation, so we suggest teacher load the teaching material before starting the class. Both teacher and student can type in the chat box. In the chat box, the student can also raise a question. When the teacher receives the question notification, you can answer the question at any time. You can load images from your computer through Load Image. Images will be shown on the screen. You can also click Load Blackboard File to open the Blackboard file from your own computer. The writing and the drawing teacher made on the Blackboard can be saved through Save Blackboard File. If you want to use them again for the next class, you can upload the Blackboard file to the cloud disk then you are able to directly pull the file from the disk. Through desktop sharing, you can share the content outside the classroom, such as the website that you are viewing, or you can share how to manipulate a software. By utilizing the timer, you will be able to bring a certain amount of tension, which will stimulate the students to actively engage in activities. Combined with the small blackboard, timer can also be applied to a pop quiz within the class. Dice will make the interaction between the student and the teacher more interesting. We can use it as part of the game. We can also use it to the teaching process. You can use the small blackboard to conduct the pop quiz. When you click the small blackboard, you can edit your question. After that, you can click handout. Every student will receive their quiz sheet, which is their own small blackboard. While the students are answering the question, they cannot see each other's answer. It is just like an exam in the real class. Students are not allowed to look around. After the answering part, you don't need to collect quizzes one by one. Only by clicking collect, students can no longer answer the quiz. Then you can click any student's answer for illustration or comments. When you release the responder, there will be a jumping responder on the student's end. This will also stimulate their participation and attract their attention. According to the STEM, 
you can press it the correct answer and then release the answering device to the students. When they receive the answering device, they can start answering. This device will help you to see the details of the student's answer, including how much time they used and if their answer is right. The roster, also called name list, will help you control the whole class systematically and efficiently. In the roster, both the teacher and the students are able to see all the status, including race, authority, reward, mute, and stage. You can type the student name in the search box, so you can see an individual student status. We can also do rankings according to our needs. By clicking every button, if there is a student who destroyed the class order, you can use remove function to remove the student out of the classroom. You can set the time when you remove the student, and the student then cannot enter into the classroom within the time you set. When the classroom is over 6 students, to simplify the process of inviting students on stage and off stage, rolling function is supported in class in, which means you can set the time duration to show students in turn. We also encourage students to raise their hands by clicking the raise button. When the students want to say something, they can long click the raise button there will be the number of students who are raising their hands, shown at the right corner, when there are less than 6 students in the classroom. You can see if they are raising hands from their video bots. There will be a yellow sign to remind the teacher. When there are more than 6 students in the classroom, you can check the hands up status from the roster. For a teacher and auditing accounts, ClassIn provides the recording function. Click the recording function on the top right corner. You can choose a local save path. Then the recording will start. When you want to stop recording, you can just click the button again. You can disable or change the video and audio devices. Likewise, if there is a blank video or soundless microphone, or you cannot hear others, you can check the setting again to see if you have disabled or chose the wrong devices.